Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Rooster Teeth Podcast. This week brought to you by Casper, Movement, and Squarespace. Thank you for sponsoring this episode of the podcast. I'm Gus. I'm Gavin. Barbara. Chris. And Gus. Before we get, we go any further, before we get into the podcast, I want to warn everyone. Chris. A warning. <laughs> That uh, here in Austin, you know, we're doing this live Monday night for first members. Uh, there's a huge storm <laughs> that's rolling in and about to hit uh, our, our studio. Our area, yeah. Uh, if the stream suddenly goes offline, we probably lost power. So <laughs> we're going to go as long as we can. Hopefully that doesn't happen. It has but happened before. It, ha it <laughs> has happened. Podcast? Yeah. 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 It kicked us off right at the end once. We, we went, we lost power Lights went off. at, uh, at uh, 636. Too, yeah, and we had so. to go do it in the conference room. Oh, yeah. But that wasn't a storm, though. What happened? Oh, we blew a we breaker blew, or something. No, there was... We'll get into that. That's a whole other thing. Well, but real fast, before we, we get into all those stories, uh, we do something else a, a little different, a little new. Uh, we have uh, a new poster we're going to be showing here. We're going to debut. Pa pa Patrick's going to bring it out. Ba -ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba this is a, a podcast ba -ba -ba -ba. poster. And it's a limited edition poster. It's wicked. And the reason we're telling you about it right now is there's only 300 of them. First members don't get notified about this poster until 5.20 p.m. via email. So if you're watching the live stream right now and you want this poster, you can go out and buy it right now before everybody else <laughs> yeah. knows about it. It should be up in the store right now. It's up on the store right Will now. Will there be any left? I don't know. It's key. The, the, you, that's your reward for watching the podcast. <laughs> and uh, we brought Tobin out who, who made this awesome poster to, to talk about it a little bit. Uh, so I, where did this poster come from, Tobin? Like I know, you, you, I don't remember who sent it. Someone sent us this image for approval asking us if we liked it. And I had no idea it was even in the works. Uh, it's Bernie's idea. And he then, wanted to do like an apocalyptic thing, bastard, right? Yeah, he's been wanting it for a while now, I think. Um, and then Mondo is kind of the inspiration. Those awesome posters that um, those guys do. So, did you do the il illustrations for this and everything too? Yeah, yeah, from scratch. Yep. So, who who is the most hideous to draw? <laughs> Definitely I guess you. me because I'm not <laughs> on it. <laughs> Shut up, Chris. <laughs> if you're not on the poster, you can't talk. <laughs> That's so, awesome. how, well, like, what, how did, so what, what, when you, I see that we see the finished product, right? Bernie had an idea. What was his idea? Like, how much work did you have to do in order to finesse that idea into, like, a finished product that comes out? He literally just said, zombie podcast poster, and that was it. <laughs> so. <laughs> Sounds like Bernie. <laughs> yeah. Not much direction at all. Obviously, John helped me, but. Why did you choose to make uh, Bernie and Gus so big, and then. <laughs> well, they've been doing it a lot. Although longer. we are in the front. That's true. <laughs> So I feel I, like, and I you feel have like weapons. There, there's a backstory here. Is that a cricket bat I have? It is, yeah. That's a nice What touch. do I have? You have a shotgun. Oh, good. For Yang. Good. Because of Canada. No, oh, because of Yang. She got the shotgun gauntlets. Mm -hmm. So, uh, from what I'm seeing here, I guess we have 300 available to purchase online, and then there'll be another 100 at RTX this summer. Wow. Yes. C can I get right. one? Uh, yes. If you go right now, there's probably still inventory. <laughs> there's 14. <laughs> there's 14 extras. So you can have them. Don't, don't, don't tell him, tell him that. Uh, yeah, it's a really cool poster, and uh, I'm, I'm glad that we have it out here. It, it's an interesting idea. I like this idea of uh, giving people who watch our podcast live a little bit of a, a reward, or a little bit of an incentive. Yeah, we don't really do that enough, do we? Yeah. What other things have you worked on? Like, what's been your favorite thing that you've worked on that you've made so far? Oh man, this is this is pretty awesome. I like this one. I, I don't like um, it. It's Bernie's idea, though. <laughs> well, why don't you give Tobin an, an idea? I got to come up with an idea. There was something that uh, I don't know if you're still working on it. Or if it got scrapped, but uh, you were working on like something else that you were drawing me on it, and you asked me to take a picture of me going like this. Yeah, <laughs> it, was it, it was personal. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> uh, that's another poster. I don't know if it's coming out. Okay. I assume it is. Um, but yeah, yeah he uh, needs some concept photos yeah. for that. Y you all, uh, like the, the art department and everyone who makes the merchandise, you all moved to a, a new office fairly recently. Yep. And I walked in there, I think, for the first time today since you all had been set, settled in there. And there's so much cool shit on all of the walls. And, like so many cool ideas and new new merchandise I see coming out. It's really, it's really exciting. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Also, each poster, I think, is numbered, right, and signed? Yep. They're all numbered and signed. There's 400 of them. But 300 in our store and then 300 in 100 the store. RTX. 100 RTX. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for coming out and for yeah. showing us the poster and introducing it, Tobin. Thanks, thanks Tobin. Thanks, Tobin. Bye. <laughs> I, I, I was looking at that and I was thinking, if I had to do that from scratch, I come up with that. <laughs> could I do it in my lifetime? No. Like, could I ever, if I had to, like, study and learn techniques for, like, 50 years, could I then do that? Probably you, not. Like, you would I have to have it. Like, to learn to script. draw? <laughs> yeah. I just think you don't have the patience. You'd probably be like... <laughs> Nah, I couldn't be bothered. What? 
<laughs> like I don't know. Time you try to With enough draw. practice, can you learn to be good? Yeah, I absolutely. Mean, you learn techniques, but would you have the ideas and like where to? I think like you would. I and... think after a lot of practice and experience doing different subject matters and different techniques, and like after a couple of years, I think absolutely you'd be able to concept I don't something. No, I feel like like singing. I couldn't. I don't think any amount of practice. Well, or... that's just the way you sound. I know, but that's an innate ability. Like, I don't yeah, but that's like saying I, I can't have blue eyes. <laughs> it's like there's a lot of physicality that goes uh -huh. in, right? Like the way the air goes through your nose. Well, I think also with mouth. singing, you could learn techniques as well. Like I'm sure you could get better. Yes. But I'm never going to be like Freddie Mercury or any top singer. That's what they have vocal man, like, You know, like, do you want to? No. <laughs> <laughs> you should be an opera singer at some point in your life. <laughs> no, I shouldn't. <laughs> like, I, yeah, I'm, uh, I don't know, I'm not going to sing. Ever. Oh, the old, even, like, uh, right now? The rap battle came out today. The Achievement Hunter rap. Yeah. That was really awesome. I think people are quite surprised by it. Because Jeremy did a really good job on it. He did. Yeah. He you guys everyone's... all did a good job too, singing. Or rapping, I guess. Yeah. I mean, he made it very easy though. He would, um, because he gave us all a clip of him singing everyone's lines. And then we could just go along on top of it, listening to it. So huh. it's nice. pretty easy to record. Yeah. When we did the podcast King versus the Mad King rap battle, it's kind of the same way where... He lays down the track, you put on the headphones, and you just kind of listen yeah. and, uh, and, and rap along to it. <clears throat> it was fun. I definitely didn't want to do it, but I'm glad he convinced me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see... Um, oh, so real fast, I want to cover the story you talked about. Uh, at the old studio, it wasn't that we blew a breaker. It's that the electricity was installed wrong in that oh. building. And uh, uh, the fuse box outside of the building... Was in the annex? Yeah, it exploded. Wasn't that the bow tie <laughs> podcast? Yes, that was the bow tie podcast. Okay. And then we had to very quickly move across the parking lot to. Yeah. Uh, but that the wasn't the studio. one that got taken out by the storm, which did Correct. Happen. There was another one as well. Uh, it was also at the annex, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that, that we got rained out. We had like, bad power we issues there. there. We had one here too? Yeah. When are we going to get a Did generator? A podcast? <laughs> it's happened three times already. Like, if we plug everything into one of those just petrol generators, how long can we do the podcast? As long as you keep. The petrol topped off. Well, pro <laughs> they probably have a. There had. There probably is a limit to how much power it can output, right? Yeah, we don't need that much. I mean, it's a lot of lights. Yeah, but they're. Uh, We're also live streaming to the internet, which I assume. We just have to make sure our internet stays up and that's see a lot. computers in there. It's a lot yeah. of power. Yeah, do you get a generator? You're fine. You're good. We, we totally make it happen. They power like data centers. <laughs> yeah. And like okay. tons of uh, equipment. Obviously, they have a, a really huge generator. But as long as you got something big we enough, we should just install those Tesla batteries all over the place. Yeah, and then we could put solar on the roof. We could store in power to last like ten minutes, just probably with that power. Man, I'm so excited. Speaking of Tesla, I'm so excited about. Oh, it looks really scary outside. It does. How uh, could you Patrick, I can. Oh Patrick, my god! Oh my god! That's outside right now of our. Uh, that's oh, that's literally of our studio. Yeah, that's, yeah, we're like several feet away from that. Death approach. Oh, you can hear and the, the the thunder is rattling the studio right now. Can we get like a thunder mic? <laughs> I mean, we, we've had thunderstorms for the last like week and a half. Yeah, yeah it's been and crazy. I don't think it's we've really lost good, power. Though. Yeah, my dog my, loves it. Well, can, and I, there's my I was gonna have to get my car washed. It's covered in poop, like really <laughs> bad. And, and this is gonna be great for it. Yeah. Yeah. Man, speaking of um, the Tesla, <laughs> the Tesla battery walls, I'm super excited uh, about the Tesla Model Three. Have you? Did you pre-order a Tesla no. Model Three? I I, I should have. I wanted to. What was it like? How much do you have to put down for that? A thousand dollars. Oh. Oh right, yeah. Maybe I'll I could it. just do it now. Yeah, do it. Then, then they're gonna—they're finally supposed to announce like all the final details in July. So but, we have like a month to wait. And I'm not committed to it, right? I put no, it down. Cancel and, and if I cancel it, I get it back. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll do that. And uh, I've already started to see like all the spy photos. Like people are finally starting to see them like on streets and on test tracks. So like every day I go to YouTube and like look for new Model Three videos, and it's always like some shaky video where like a guy's through a chain link fence and you see the car. <laughs> On a track. So Are you really that excited to get one? Oh, yeah, I'm super excited. About What's the it. difference between the t uh, Model S mm -hmm. and the the Model S is their nicer version? Okay. Uh, and the Model Three is like the more affordable mass market one. Okay, gotcha. Are you gonna get rid of your car to get that yeah, one? Yeah, absolutely. But I associate that car so much with you. I had that car I, a long time. I was, I was thinking about it the other day. It's yeah. honestly like because I, I don't really care about other people's cars, but every time I see. A Prius, I look to see if it's you. Because <laughs> there's, so there's so many ones of your color, and I always look to see if it's you. It's a super common car. Right? They it's have a, a lot of fucking Priuses in LA. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever gotten an Uber in LA, but there's like a 99.9% .9 chance it's going to be a Prius. Well, I think if you're in a Prius, um, you don't have to pay for like tolls. 
in California. Oh, because it's electric? Right. And I think yeah. that you get like a discount on your vehicle registration. I think there's a lot of financial incentives to uh, to use huh. hybrid and so electric what vehicles. Extras could you add to this new Tesla? They haven't really to get it to They haven't really said yet. They're gonna, that's the announcement they're going to do next month. But the photos I've seen, the dashboard doesn't have like the speedometer and instrument cluster in front of the driver. Like that's just not there. There's nothing. Where is all, it? all they have is the tablet in the middle. Yeah. Like the like the Model S. They said that that there's going to be no instrument cluster in front of the driver, which doesn't mean anything to you because you don't drive. <laughs> but it's weird for those of you who do drive. Yeah. It'd be, yeah. Maybe like, they'll do it in the in the windshield. I don't know. Like a well, what? And, but and Elon Musk has said some weird things on Twitter about it. <clears throat> he said that the level of autonomy in the car is going to be so high that you don't need it. And what he said was, when you're in a taxi, how often do you look at the speedometer? Oh, which is yeah, <laughs> and I know that's why I asked you because I, mean, I know you like robot cars. Sometimes I do. If they're going real fast and I'm like, I don't feel safe. How mm -hmm. fast are they going? That's mm -hmm. when I look. Yeah, I but look at other people's that, speedometers when it's either like really loud and like I can feel the wind, or it like it's just driving feel the like wind a maniac. On the inside of a car. <laughs> you can like feel the wind effect down. on the. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you can feel like the the wind blowing a car if a car's hauling ass through wind. You ever yeah. felt that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Kind of, you could like sense it. Yeah, I think that's more like strong wind though. That always freaks me out. Like when I'm just driving down the highway, and your car, and then all of a sudden blown. you're like, whoa! <laughs> like you, you get a big, but big burst of wind. Yeah, and you're just like, Ugh, like my heart always starts racing. I like the idea of that being your reaction though, because I'm sure in reality you're just like this. <laughs> if you're just like, no, whoa! no, I would think it would be the second one actually. Yeah, that's, yeah. That, yeah, that's probably the noise I make. <laughs> Barbara laughs every time I make a noise like that. That's like my surprise noise. Yeah, <laughs> it's because it's, it's so genuine. <laughs> I get scared. Aaron got a new car. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That I took him to it. Well, you, what is way? Yeah. You, so he, he he found a car he wanted to get, but it was in Houston. Okay. And. They were so, out of cars in Austin? Yeah, I guess. Uh, and I was going to Galveston for a weekend, Memorial Day weekend, to visit my uh, Which sister. Which is yeah. in Houston, New York. Which Houston? is like, it's like pat, a, right yeah, past, past yeah. Okay. Houston. And she was like, it's on the, <laughs> Whoa. It's on the coast. Yeah, the coast. Like, uh, But he, he was like, oh, well, can you drop me off at this dealership? And blah, blah, blah. I'm like, sure. Because yeah. that way he could just drive the car Yeah, Because yeah, he was going to take a bus or something. I'm like, sure, I'll have company. But then he wanted to leave at like 8 a.m. in the morning on a Saturday. So I was like, okay, fine. And he As shows up. I'm like, he, sh and he shows up. I'm like, I hear a knock on my door. I'm like in my underwear. And he's like, let's go, let's go, let's go. And I'm like, <sighs> so we drive and I drop so him off. So you left in your underwear? Uh, I got dressed. Oh. <laughs> uh, drive and I drop him off. And he, I'm like, you know, we do test drive it and stuff. I'm like, okay, cool. He's like, yeah, I'm going to get it. I'm totally going to get it. I'm going to get it. I just got to, you know, I got to talk him down a little. I'm going to get it. I'm like, cool. So he's talking to the guy. I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to head out, head to Galveston, driving to Galveston. He calls me like, at, like 30 minutes later. He's like, I don't think I'm gonna get it. I need, I need you to come back. He won't come down. So I'm like, okay, all right, I'm coming back for you. So I go pick, I go and pick him up, and then it's like 15 minutes down, and he's like, he calls me back. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna God. get it. I think I'm gonna get it. What a piece of shit. And I'm like, okay, cool. It's like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just eating at Subway right now, and then you know, I'm psyching myself up. I, th I think I'm gonna get it. I'm like, <laughs> And then so I'm like, okay, cool. I turn around and he's like, those five dollar footlongs, man. <laughs> <laughs> and and I'm driving back. And then he, and then 20 minutes later, he's like, so I tried to get it, but I couldn't get it because my bank was closed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so then I'm like, okay. So I drive back. I pick him up and I drive him to the. Uh, I drive him to a bus station. Uh huh. And he takes a bus back, and I go to Galveston. And then he comes back the next day in a bus whenever his bank's open and gets it. Okay, so he like basically went to Houston twice. For twice, for no reason. Yeah. He he said he did, though, because he, he had a different salesman the second day, yeah. he got a cheaper price. Yeah, oh. he tweeted that picture about... Yeah. yeah. Got, like... So it ended up working out in his benefit because he got like a thousand or two thousand dollars. So what was it? It's like a old, like a used Porsche. Some old I don't know if I'm supposed <laughs> if he wants, but it's like it's like a 2001, so oh, okay. it's like not like a new one. Yeah, he's he was real cagey about it. I saw him at our meeting the other day, and yeah. I sat down next to you and Aaron. I was like, "Hey, what's up, guys?" And uh, I was like, "Oh, congrat, you know, congratulations on your car," because I saw he had tweeted, like you said, about the the two thousand dollars. I was like, "What'd you get?" He goes, "Oh, yeah, I got a Toyota Camry." I was like, <laughs> "Okay, that's you kind want, of you weird. Got, I have to go to Houston for those." Oh, we, yeah, and I, I said something like, "Like, oh, that's that's a weird decision," and he's like, oh, "Okay, okay, uh, I'm." I'm I got something else. He's just trying to fill up our parking lot with cars that he doesn't use anymore. <laughs> Does he still have cars over there on the? Well, I think the the um, police car that he used to have. Oh right. 
I think he sold that to Rooster Teeth to yeah. use as a police car, so they like repainted it and stuff. Mm -hmm. But like his other car that he had, I think he's just gonna park it here I think until he could sell it. Bernie's done that too. He's got like his, his old car's been out there here forever. Too. Yeah, <laughs> there's a bunch of like parking spots that are being taken up by people's old cars. Fucking assholes. Yeah. The amount of waste in the world from people holding onto stuff that they're trying to sell. There's clearly like people who want to buy those cars, but they don't always know about them. There needs to be like a much more efficient beacon system for when it's like, I don't need this anymore. Take and the, it. the whole world knows about it. <laughs> um, I had that with a house for a while. I was like, I, I need to sell this house. <laughs> there's a very easy way. There's a very easy beacon system for that called a realtor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did it. Did they it. Did. Eventually. There was a there was a brief period of time where I I told you that I wanted to rent your house. Because you were not renting it to anyone, so yeah. even if I rented it for like 50 bucks a month, you'd still be making money. <laughs> it would have been more profitable than what I did. And I think I remember I was like so close to convincing you to let me rent it for like a hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> you were just like, and I'm like, well, you're not making, you're making zero, so you're yeah, but, making an extra hundred bucks a month. But then, if I'm always trying to sell it, I'd have to be like, all right, get out. <laughs> Sold. Or you know, I would make it look nice. Yeah, that happens all the time, where it's like you showing a house that a renter is in. What's the thing you're not supposed to do with your friends? Like never... Uh, rent them a house. Steal them? Oh. Re no, never sell them a car. What? There's, there's something that you're never supposed uh, to do with people. Don't shit where you eat. Like, don't be a roommate with no. them? <laughs> Probably, like, I would say I sell live. them a car. Yeah. Because you never know what's going to happen. Yeah. There's some stuff that is always much don't Ask them to easier. take you to Houston to buy a car. <laughs> <which> you <shouldn't laughs> do. I've already had someone I know, like, I was talking with someone else I knew about the getting the Tesla Model 3, and they were like, oh, what do you do with your Prius? Like, oh, I'm just going to sell it. Like, you should sell it to me. I was like... I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't sound <laughs> like that. That just that just sounds like setting up for something wrong, for something bad to happen. Like I've never done anything wrong in that car. The car's always been fine to me. But what if like I sold it to them and it immediately breaks? Like oh, the car's fucked up. You need to take it back. Or they wear a mask of your face and do it like pull a bank job or they, something. They could do that. That's <laughs> way less likely. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the thing I'm worried about. <laughs> so it's like that That's guy. That's really just elaborate that though, man. You could totally do that though if you had like ex did like skin grafting uh, uh, VFX makeup and like major could totally pin a, a crime on some on a friend if you like borrowed their car. I'm pretty sure there's other ways to identify <laughs> a person. It's weird that the camera shows Gus walked in, but it was Chris's DNA all over there. Yeah, it's so crazy. Know, if I, if like, if what I, do we believe? If I was if I was wearing like a turtleneck and black gloves and and Gus's face, yeah. All right. They'd probably and, like your height and your weight. They are spit. no, 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 no. They're not, I'm like a spit. I'm, I'm robbing a bank. I'm not spitting on. You, like, gotta, get the, not, you gotta get the ghost wall. Any, I don't think anyone who commits a crime is intentionally. Spit. You're gonna be yelling at someone to put the money in the bag through a mask. You're gonna spit. They're gonna assume. They're, but, but they mean. But I, my spits are not gonna be collected. They mean. There's. I could have gone into the bank myself earlier that day. <laughs> That's the cover. You, you, as Chris, go in first. Yeah, plus leave your DNA everywhere. Walk in, come back and obviously go. sneeze all over the. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Start sneezing everywhere. Oh my god. Bart was crying. I just love her. the idea of like anyone who's committing a crime going in and just like spitting. <laughs> uh, uh, I I sold. I had a a, tr a little truck that I sold. I don't know a couple years ago. And uh, you know, here around Austin, there's those toll roads, and so I sold the truck to some random person off of Craigslist, and then like fucking three months later, I started getting goddamn toll bills. <laughs> the asshole oh, never filed a registration. He never updated it to the fact that he bought it. Is there so, no way for you to file? Sorry, a light just went off. Is there light. no way for you to file the fact that like you don't own the car anymore? Yeah, there's a form you can fill out, but I just had never thought about it. Oh. So it's like, so then I started getting all these bills from the toll company, Touch and there's really like it's a it's a whole hassle. So I just paid the tolls. It was, it was like twenty bucks. You I, paid them? I paid them because I was like, I I can't. Are you worried about like hitting your credit? Eventually? Right. It's like I don't want this. I don't want any misunderstanding. So I just paid it. Then I filled out that form. Like you go to like the DPS website, you fill yeah. it out, and then the, you like this mail ain't it mine in. anymore. For right, like I sold this truck. Whatever. I have to go to the DMV. I need to renew my license. You should do it before it expires. <laughs> Otherwise, it's like mm, bigger pain. Yeah, it expires in December, so I have plenty of time. But yeah, it's because uh, and you would know this if you got a license. But if you try to get a license on a work visa, it's only valid for the amount of time your work visa is. <laughs> so I can only get a license that lasts to the end of the year every year. Yeah, so that'd mine, be bloody annoying, wouldn't it? Mine expires in December of twenty seventeen because that's when my work visa would have expired. Mm. But since then, I've gotten a green card. But so, but driver's licenses aren't. <clears throat> proof of legal status in the country, are they? Like, why do they do it that I way? I think it's because, like, technically when I had the work visa, I was only legal to 
be in the United States and work in the United States and live here until December of 2017. So they couldn't. Yeah, but you don't have to be a citizen in the United States or a legal resident to get a driver's license, do you? How does yeah. that work? To I get think, a U.S. driver's license? I think you have to be a resident. Because I don't think a driver's license is proof of citizenship. Yeah, but you Not can't get one. But you residency. can't get one without social security, though. Can you? Can't you? I mean, you must have to have a social security number to get a driver's yeah, license. But, probably. but social security is a federal agency, and driver's licenses are state agencies. Right, but I I've needed my social security for a bunch of shit. Needed it to get a phone. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's different. Is it? Yeah. Why? It's a pr why? Because they they probably run like your a credit check. That's and a stuff. credit thing. Yeah. Huh. Well, regardless, it expired when my work visa expired. So it just seems. Well, well, I believe you. What but I'm it, saying is it that always makes dumb. it always makes people do a double take because at the top of the license it says limited term. Mm. So it's like and it's like in big red letters. So it always Can seems I, like it's like expired or something. Can I see? It's not on me. Oh. It's in my bag. So didn't Trump mess with that visa suddenly today or something? Wait, uh, I have change? a green card. Yeah, I know, but didn't he do something to the H one B? Isn't that what you want? That was I. That's what I was on. Yeah, yeah. I was on the H one B. I just saw something pop up on my thing. I didn't read it, but it said that he would, like something was changing with it. Yeah, I. Are you <coughs> getting close to? <laughs> I'm still on a work visa. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, that is loud. The fact that we could hear it in here. Yeah, man, my car's gonna be so clean. <laughs> <laughs> but it's never clean. Like whenever it gets rained on, it's like dirty water. It's yeah, got like I, dust particulate than, in better it. Better than the amount of poop that is in my car or on my car. On Wait, my what? Car. Why is that dust in rain? <laughs> I don't know. There just is. You, you, you ever seen that? Like when a raindrop falls, inevitably it dries dusty. Like it, it dries and leaves behind like a residue. Does it? Yeah. Are you sure that's not just splash from hitting the ground? It's probably just because our no. air is not clean. So yeah. like everything gets like lifted and then huh. It's like all that pollution and shit. All that pollution. <laughs> Am I crazy? Does anyone else feel that way? Uh, yeah, that's, that's how it yeah. works. Got a confirmation from Patrick. Constant yeah, we cycle. got science proof in there. <laughs> so apparently uh, the posters are almost sold out. Oh really? No way. Yeah. So uh, if you've been waiting to get one, go get that poster. Mm -hmm. There's only 300 of them. Well, and there's more than that and many people watching. Way less than 300 now. <laughs> yes. Uh, I actually have a space for a poster in my office because Someone wanted a slow-mo poster someone that my one of my family knows But I didn't have time before I flew to England to get one from the store So I just took my <laughs> own one down and I, them, and I never put one back up. So it's just a blank spot. Do this one Yeah, I might do that one if I can get one. I right. just take this one. Yeah, let me read this right here uh, I want to remind everyone this episode of the podcast is brought to you by Casper Casper is an online retailer of premium mattresses <laughs> for a fraction of the cost Casper is revolutionizing the mattress industry by cutting the cost of dealing with resellers and showrooms and passing that savings directly to the consumer. Casper's mattress is an obsessively engineered mattress at a very fair price. Casper is made of supportive memory foam for a sleep surface with just the right sink and just the right bounce. Plus, its breathable design sleeps cool to help you regulate your temperature throughout the night. I talk about it all the time. You know, what a great mattress I think this is. I've actually got two at my house. Um, and you can buy it easily online, completely risk-free. Casper understands the importance of truly <coughs> trying out a mattress that in all reality you spent a third of your life on. Casper <laughs> offers free delivery and painless returns with a 100-day period, so you don't have to lie down in the showroom. You save an additional $50 toward a mattress by going to casper.com slash RT, entering promo code RT. That's casper.com slash RT, promo code RT. <coughs> Terms and conditions apply. Free shipping and returns to the U.S. and Canada. Big thank you to Casper for making such a good mattress. So I love good. It. I sleep on one every night. So comfortable. I still don't have one. I slept on mine uh, last night without the sheets on it, and it's still comfortable. Why? Because I was washing my sheets, and uh, you got two sets of sheets. She sheets. She sheets. She she I do, but I was lazy. Yeah, it's like two <laughs> hours to. Wa it's like you don't even put on a whole new set of sheets just while. I well, I just swap between two sets. Oh, so that one I, I should have one, done I'm not that. got like an empty bed. That's smart. I should have done that, but usually I I would just wash them and put them back on, but uh. I didn't do that. I have, a, I have a question. Do you think that if enough people think you're wrong about something, are you just wrong about it? Here's no. an example. Okay. So I tweeted I was transferring a, a load of files, like it's moved like 12 terabytes. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, sucks I'm limited to gigabit speeds. And I showed my thing, mm -hmm. which said like 113 megabytes, megabytes a second. Yeah. And everyone was like, uh, megabit speed or don't you mean megabyte or like whatever. Right, right. And it was like 90% of the replies were that. And Maybe I thought, they're... I mean, almost everyone thinks I'm wrong. I might as well be wrong. Yeah, I hate that. Like, I might That's as well. Awful. Yeah, but you're might not as well wrong. Be a typer, you might as well, but you're not. The difference is, is the difference between a gigabyte and a gigabit. 
um, which means that you know, by eight. gigabit is like you get an eighth of that in megabytes. I mean, there's a lot of things that people are mm -hmm. commonly wrong about. Like one of the things is the you and I versus you and me argument. Mm -hmm. Like it's different depending on what sentence you use it in. And there's a lot of people who are very adamant, like, no, it's you and I. It's, like, it's not yeah. <laughs> in it's this situation. Like, I just felt like, because I could have gone through and like corrected every single person. I was like, I may as well just be completely wrong because most people think I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You see, Apple did their Worldwide Developer Conference today. I didn't see it. What did they announce? Uh, I, I, I didn't get to watch all of it, but they did announce a new iMac called the iMac Pro. I've The world has officially ended. An iMac Pro. iMac was their consumer line. Mac Pro was their pro line. Now you got an iMac Pro. Do they think that That's putting the dumb. word pro next to it is just like, oh, this is better and you'll pay it, more it for it? It actually does have some beefier hardware to support the moniker of Pro, but it's still like, why are you making the iMac Pro? <laughs> why not just make a new Mac Pro? Are they... Did they touch the Mac Pro at all? No. That thing is garbage. So I, I thought they were gonna revamp the Mac Pro and get rid of like the stupid, like add the ports back on there or something. They said that they're gonna, that the trash can form factor for the Mac Pro was a mistake and they're gonna fix it, but it's gonna take time. I mean, it looked but, super cool, it was just Right. Really impractical. Super cool. But what made me start thinking about this was you were talking about gigabit. The iMac Pro, it just feels wrong saying it. I'm sorry. Uh, the iMac Pro was going to have 10 gigabit Ethernet. Oh, built in? Built into it. Matt, because I was looking at 10 gig Ethernet adapters that you can do over Thunderbolt, mm -hmm. and they were like 600 bucks. Mm. I have 10 gigabit Ethernet between different pieces of hardware, but none of it is between computers. It's, it's like my computer to a phantom mm. or something. So. Oh, that's why I thought about it. Like when I saw that I had a 10 gigabit, I was like the first thing I thought of was like yeah. transferring I would love uh, that. phantom data. Although wouldn't I need like 10 gigabit switch and what shit added in? You could probably it. connect them directly to each other. Yeah, but my house is like Cat6 wired. Cat6 will probably be able to support it. So I feel like if I have a router or a switch that supports that, I could just plug yeah. everything into the wall. Yeah. And it'd be, yeah. A router? Router? How's your trampoline? Trampoline's fun. Yeah. You got a trampoline? You I got, got a, a trampoline. trampoline. Why? For a video. Oh. Oh. And I, 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 go, I go on that thing so much. For a 29-year-old, I spend a lot of time on a trampoline. <laughs> My, mainly just like lounging around on it. But Dan's been around and we've just been like bouncing around is between Dan's videos. Is Dan still in town? Nah, he left. Oh. But there is, <laughs> there is a slightly... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. There is a slightly annoying thing is that I don't have a lawnmower, so I just pay some lawn people to come. They come every two weeks. It's like 25 bucks, but I never know what day they're coming and I always want to move the trampoline because they don't go under it So Are I need just to gonna have like a circle patch? <laughs> I always have like a, a tall circle of grass So I need to keep moving my trampoline around <laughs> so they get it. Otherwise my grass will just grow up into it <laughs> Yeah, I have to take a long time. <laughs> it's already pretty high like halfway up the trampoline. Really? Yeah Damn. We've had a lot of rain. Yeah, and that was oh. annoying because it's been so stormy and Dan's been here And it, we just haven't been able to film for so long Useless. It's coming back soon, though. Sure. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> cool. At some point. Yeah, I know when we uh, pre-taped the Memorial Day podcast, oh. uh, I felt like the pressure in my ears on that one. You you weren't sure if you're going to be able to make it or not because you were worried about whether or not the day we were filming was going to be sunny so you could film. <laughs> yeah. And it turned out like that was the one sunny day. Yeah, I felt bad about like it. The week. No, I, I mean I was that's like looking ahead at the weather. I was like, probably won't be in. I, I totally, I totally get it. I mean, you, you you can only film. So often, yeah. And when it's been fucking miserable weather like this, it's impossible. I'm at the point in my life where I definitely have control over a lot of things. Like I, I don't really have to do anything, and I'm not really governed by anything that I don't want to do. But I still <laughs> need sunlight, so I'm always like, I really don't know what I'm doing until I can see the weather. Have you considered like getting a studio that just has like really good lighting, or is it just that? Well, yeah, but that's bunts, Barbara. That's some bunts to get a studio and big lights. Yeah. Everything involved in doing that is very expensive. True. It would put me, you know, I'd spend a lot before I made that back. Be negative. Sell your house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get an apartment. Man, uh, speaking of selling stuff, for the first time in I don't know how long, it's been it's been a few years. I went to a bunch of garage sales this weekend, mm -hmm. and I think some people don't understand what it takes to make a garage sale. Like I just looked on Craigslist. I was like, I'm gonna find garage sales in Austin. I'm gonna go to them. For for what? I don't know. Just wanna go. Just to shop around, right? Yeah. yeah, and uh, I show up to some, and it's like some dude with like a blanket on his yard with like three things. It's like this, what? This isn't a garage. So basically, sale. It didn't constitute. This is a blanket sale. Right. It's like a blanket. Don't waste my time, sir. With three items. <laughs> what? If, what if like all the items had just been sold since? Oh, I showed up kind of early. Yeah. Oh. If you get there early. <laughs> right. But what were the three items? Um. Okay. 
the one I'm thinking of in particular, it was it was a twenty thousand dollar pyramid board game from nineteen seventy four. Uh, it was a uh, Catholicism for Dummies book, <laughs> and what was the other thing? It was a um, oh, and it was a microscope. <laughs> wow, pretty hefty items. I'll I take think. it all, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Give Wrap me. it up in his blanket. <laughs> I, I just can't imagine going to one of those without having something that you're trying to get hold of. And you never know what you're going to find. Like yeah, when we used to do the Drunk Gamers website, you know, before Rooster Teeth, uh, we had Jeff and I had a column where every week we would go to garage sales just to see what we could find and see if we could find any video game stuff. It's also and like finding cool it, like trinkets or like old things, vintage things. Yeah, you're it's not looking, fun. Yeah, I, I like going to those and not looking for anything in particular. I like going shopping and not looking for anything in particular. I've never, I've never just thought I'm going to go sh shopping. I don't know what for. No, I've I, never. I, you know what? That. You know what? I think it's wrong. As as a kid, I always like going to garage sale because it'd be a way to get like cheap toys and convince my mom to buy me toys because they would be so cheap. Yeah. I think that's probably where like why yeah. I like it too. Like when I was younger, like I knew I could find cheap stuff. Yeah, and I could get it. I, I know my mom will buy me this thing because it's it's yeah. twenty five cents. Or it's like when you're a kid, it's like that's all the money you have. Like I've got a quarter, <laughs> I can buy this. <laughs> yeah, all of the like VHSs and. Super Nintendo games that I had as a kid were all mm -hmm. secondhand. Mm. I had like all of my games had other people's saves on them. So yeah. I didn't realize that when I played Link to the Past, I didn't realize that where I was starting from wasn't the beginning of the game. <laughs> I was like, I have all this stuff. I had like half the shit. <laughs> oh my God. And then I, my then name's I played Ryan it again for from, some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I played it again from the beginning. I was like, what's, what's all my stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it? I was pretty young. I was like six, probably. It's Aww. a good game. Really that one starts on a stormy night, doesn't it? It, it does. does. Just a night just like tonight. Mm -hmm. just, I felt like when we used to do the the garage sale article for drunk gamers, I felt like when we would go to garage sales that we would see video games at every sale. Like inevitably, like every sale there was something, you know, even if it was like an old NES cartridge or something. When I went this past Saturday, I felt like I really didn't see anything. Hmm. It, was, nope. it was like there really was not very much video game stuff. I, I wonder now if like... The resale market is so that like people just take it to like GameStop or or they try somewhere. to sell it online, <clears throat> probably maybe. Like, or not they're in buying person. it digitally. You know, like maybe yeah. I re I really felt like there was not a lot of uh, video game related stuff. Did I buy anything? I always wanted oh. to have a garage sale because I wanted to just watch people look through my stuff <laughs> and like you should be in your house like <laughs> looking through the blinds. <laughs> <laughs> what, like, well, just like to see this like, is shit. I can't believe anyone would buy it. Oh, gross. Well, I just wanted to like, I don't know. I guess see what people thought like my stuff was worth to them. What What is the most? So would you pretend to attend it as though you're buying something? I'm, like looking through, like, hmm. I oh, would wow, definitely this is a buy really this. Nice T-shirt. I would spend a lot of money on this T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> what is the most personal thing you would sell at a garage sale? Personal thing. Personal. Oh God. Underwear. Yeah, and I I wouldn't sell my underwear now because I I know some people are into that. In no, 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 but like, <laughs> it, you don't know. It, it's not like. Well, go ahead. Wait, uh, was who was it on this podcast that told the story about their girl, a girl that they knew who worked at a grocery <coughs> store, and a guy approached her about buying her socks? Was that one of you? That sounds familiar. There, yeah. Apparently, there was someone who we know, and the audience probably knows who I'm talking about. But um, she, th there was this girl that was friends with this guy who worked at a grocery store, and there's this guy, like a customer, that came in and told her. That he'd pay her a hundred dollars for her sweaty work socks, and she did it. <laughs> so she went into the back. I mean, it's good money for just off taking her socks off. And yeah. gave it to him. If anyone wants to buy my sweaty <laughs> socks, <laughs> fifty bucks. <laughs> but also, like right now in the Artsy store, <laughs> just one pair. There's also apparently like like women's dirty underwear too that some people of interesting taste are into. So like, I don't know if you guys have watched the or Orange Is the New Black. I've seen the first season and a half. There's basically this whole plot line. Um, I think it's in like the third season where uh, they sell their underwear, like used underwear. Prison underwear? Yeah. So and you just take them off and sell them. You don't wash them. You just. You definitely don't wash them. I no, because they want the smell. You wash all the value out. They want the smell and the crust. Crust? crust. Uh, <laughs> what crust? <laughs> oh. <laughs> crust. <laughs> After, Bum crust. After I went to all those garage sales <laughs> on uh, on the weekend, I went to um, like a Goodwill. Had, there was like this Goodwill boutique store. And I was like, oh, I wonder. Like I was driving by because I was in a neighborhood looking for garage. I was like, oh, I've never seen that before. I wonder what's in there. So I walked in. It was just like a normal Goodwill. I don't know why they wrote boutique on it just to get people in. But as I was walking around, they had a section where there was underwear for sale. Ugh. And I was like, I looked at it. I was like, I can't believe they're selling underwear here. And there were like thongs. 
and you know, like underwear that gets up in there. I was like, that. I mean, I they should not be allowed to sell that. I guess no, it's no. not weird though if it's washed. No, like, uh, n no amount of washing could remove the deep seated. No, look, I bet if I washed the pair of underwear I'm wearing, wearing right now. Yeah, but that underwear is not going up your vagina and ass crack. <laughs> if I washed my underwear, would you put it on? <laughs> yeah. If you wash yeah, it. Yeah, but it's like I've... a pair of shorts for you guys. Like, yeah, your butthole and your balls are touching it, but like... <laughs> <laughs> what about the crust, Barbara? <laughs> <laughs> what about all the bum Some crust? of us like the crust. <laughs> I'm not talking about the bum crust, I'm talking about dried women fluid. Vag crust. Yes. That would create probably a, a crusty thing on underwear that's left unwashed for however long it would take to get to these men. Uh, you so, think men someone, on tw someone on Twitter, portable underscore HB, is selling, you should sell your sweaty socks on sale for charity at Extra Life 2017. Oh, no. Bro, no. Oh. Not for the kids. That's, I feel like, I feel, yeah, I feel like that's like, mean. <laughs> <laughs> like, the best I could come up with <laughs> were my sweaty socks. As long as no one's suggesting I sell my dirty underwear on the Extra Life stream. Nobody's interested in that, Barbara. Thank no, nobody. Nobody God. wants your crust. Stop, stop, uh, it, it, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who brought it up. I know, but I wasn't I mean, talking yeah, you, to my, about myself. So you weren't talking about your personal crust. Stop saying crust. <laughs> <laughs> Why I would wash, you bring it up though? Because I wash my underwear frequently enough to like, it doesn't sit there dirty for like days. Well, I mean, the amount of time you leave it not washed surely doesn't affect how washed it gets. <laughs> <laughs> you lost me again. <laughs> I lose you with that. Well, he if I it, if I take my underwear off, it doesn't solidify. <laughs> <laughs> What is this like <laughs> paste that you've got happening? <laughs> but I think if I took my but my boxes off now, washed them tonight, it would be, they would come out the exact same as if I washed them a month from now. Congratulations! So like, if, if you no, leave, what, what, is what you're saying like, no matter how long you leave it dirty, when you wash it, it still washes oh, yeah. the same. Yeah, yeah it still okay. washes the same for sure. Does it? Right. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. yeah. You don't think smell could like, like, like suck in? Like get deep well, deep. Smell, what but that's smell? the point of detergent is to like get it out. Yeah, but you know, smell is just little nugs of the thing, right? Like poo smell is just poo, mm. it's just microscopic poo. Well, when you get you get smell that's like soaked into a fabric. Febreze. Like like pit sweat or or smell yeah. or like whatever it is, vagina smell. That like maybe if if it can, <laughs> what if like there's I mean it can chemically maybe transform it into like even something different. Well, like you, you spray stuff on it, and now it smells like strawberries. Don't ever spray anything in your underwear, kids. <laughs> Febreze. Is Febreze bad for your vag and butthole? Everything except water and soap is bad for your vag. I feel like even soap. What about bad penis? Get it even so, honestly, <laughs> I don't know about penises, <laughs> but I recommend not putting anything besides soap and very like. At what point is it dangerous to leave a penis in a vagina? <laughs> <laughs> like, do you, like, you, so, okay. you just go in there and sit there. Here's a, here's a like, question. Someone has that world record, right? Longest the time. The longest together? time a penis has been in a vagina. Oh, I bet they went for like a day. As what well. is that amount of time? Well, and here's the thing is do you get like super what you know how like your fingers get wrinkly? <laughs> <laughs> when you're, well, here's, I mean, you, you would pull out <laughs> and your shaft would be just like <laughs> you would like soften though, right? Because huh? I assume you would go in when you're hard, and then it would soften. That would be, yeah. I imagine you'd have to soften. Yeah, because you point. can't Otherwise, stay hard for that. Because you can't even have an erection. For yeah, but at what point does a few it become, hours, or you go to the hospital, and then you'd have to take it out? But what point does it not become sex anymore? You're inside a woman. It's sex when you're in her. No, it means sexy. It's, like, it's, why would you oh. lose it? Because surely it's hot because you're in. Yeah, yeah. I, World's longest man masturbation? Ten hours. I can beat that. World's strongest <laughs> vagina? Lifted 31 pounds. I, I wait, 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 tie it to? wait, question. <laughs> when you say a vagina lifted 31 pounds, like... Uh, was it like a dildo with a hook and chain on the end? <laughs> yeah, like, where, like where is it hooked in, or is it like shoved, like what? It could be the lips. Because a vagina it is a hole. It does not elaborate. <laughs> it should. It says, uh... It does not alleviate. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty good. <laughs> I've thought that, and I thought there's no way I would say that. It's crap. <laughs> well, that's what I'm here that's for. A, that's a crusty joke, Bar. <laughs> uh, there's another one here. I was gonna say. Oh, the uh, world's largest penis, 13.5 inches. World's largest vagina, 19 inches. And who has that record of the largest penis? <laughs> Jonah oh. Falcon, an American actor and writer. Does he still live in? America? Uh, let's see. It says he's a, a gaming blog editor. Is he single? <laughs> in 2012, he was if, like, stopped and big... frisked by the TSA at the San Francisco airport due to the large bulge in his pants. 
A capacitor metal detector in the body scanner, the world's largest dick, was selected for additional screening and then finally released. I bet it was selected for additional screening. <laughs> <laughs> and I bet it was released. But that would, he would, he would just <laughs> bought him out every time. What? Yeah, not with the world's largest yeah, vagina, which is 19 inches. Get, Can we go back to that? Get with 19? the vagina. I thought you said 19. 19. No, 19, 19 inches. She'll never be satisfied with the penis. Listen, you, you oh, don't have was, to touch the end of your vagina to be satisfied. <laughs> she was 7 foot 8 inches tall. That's ah. a that's a huge bitch. <laughs> 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 and uh, I guess the man she married was also over seven feet tall. I yeah. Mm-hmm. Must have had a tall baby. That's like <laughs> I imagine. She them gave having... birth to the largest baby in history. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> weighing twenty six pounds and thirty four inches in length. <sighs> I mean, yeah. But she had plenty of room for it. In China. <laughs> It became, Do you think it was so large it became tightly wedged in her capacious tract, only extracted by the use of forceps and belts. Uh, belts! I have a, do you think when those two people have sex, it looks like a scene from Pacific Rim? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> you've uh, you've done you've done well, Barbara. <laughs> oh, no, that's uh, yeah. Those people are are huge. That and that's the thing that always surprised me. I always think about that whenever like I'm in a crowd out in public. I look at all of the people I see. It's like people are fucking amazing. It's amazing to see like the variety in people, mm-hmm. like the the heights, the weights, the way everyone <laughs> looks. It's like and I always think about video games. I think about like. Character generators when you're like starting up a new game like how long would it take to make all of these different people? You know what I think about that's weird about people's faces? <laughs> Is that <laughs> Everyone has for the most part two eyes a nose a mouth and like a round right. shaped face But the slight differences in each one make like you could identify a person based off their face mm-hmm. it, like instantly, but like you both have noses but like, I don't know. It's just like the slight <laughs> distinctions in each face. Slight. Well, the, I, think we're, <laughs> I don't think I could look more different to you. I've got a big nose too, but I feel like I we have big noses in different ways. But it just Yours seems like there's flat. It doesn't it's stick like, out. Yeah. Of your head. It just seems like there's not enough distinctions to create that amount of different people. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like a nose could only be so big or so small. Mm-hmm. But yet there's seven billion people in the world, and everyone looks different. Do you think yeah. someone so else in the world has your nose? Absolutely. They, like there's the exact same nose out there. Absolutely. Well, they have those things. I, I saw this uh, video where they these people find their like real life twins. Yeah. Uh, it was just someone else in the world who happens to look exactly like I them. I think there is an app or a website now for that where you could upload your photo and it scans it and, and find someone else who's Yeah, I was going to say with the rise of social oh media. Oh my God. And that would create the perfect bank robbery scenario. <laughs> You wouldn't, you wouldn't even the need the makeup. <laughs> you yeah, would just remember, be a different person. You just go, you go, find out where they are, and then just like rob, steal their car, rob something, go away. Jack then you wants, gotta return their car so they don't know it was stolen. <laughs> but you just, all you have to do is while they're like sleeping or something like that. They're but your a, DNA would still be in there. No, bag. I would not spit. I'd wear a mouth guard. <laughs> there was once a picture that Jack couldn't tell whether it was him or not. It was just a guy with a beard taking a selfie on a plane, I think. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, I don't know if that's me. And it wasn't. Wasn't him, just some random. But it looked that similar that even that person. Couldn't <laughs> <laughs> there was once a school visiting my school. I think it was for some sports tournament, and there was a girl who got off the bus, and a friend of mine saw her and thought it was me, and like went to go talk to her. And I saw this girl later, and there was a moment in my head where I was like, "Is that me? <laughs> <laughs> not is it my sister? Is it I literally me?" I was just me? like, "Am I just not in my body right now?" And that's actually me because that girl looked exactly like me. Did you, you talk to her? Find her now. I mean, I, I, it's yeah, but I don't. You should look her up. I think I will look her up. <laughs> hey, if you were uh, at this school on this date, wearing yeah. this. Oh, oh, so you don't think you could? No. Okay. Maybe, maybe she's on that website Chris was talking about, maybe. and maybe you still look the same. But I don't think I ever made eye contact with her, so I don't know if she knows I exist. <laughs> but you definitely saw her. Oh, I saw her. I saw me. Do you think right now she's like looking for podcasts on YouTube? And she's like, I don't remember being on that podcast. <laughs> <laughs> what am Is I doing me? there? I've been on so many of them, too. <laughs> uh, here, I'm going to read this. I want to remind everyone, this episode of Rich Teeth Podcast is also brought to you by Movement Watches. Uh, you can see the watch they sent me. It's great. Sleek, stylish. You get tons of compliments. This one's really cool. It's all black. Uh, Movement was started by two broke college kids that wanted to wear stylish watches but couldn't afford them, so they started their own watch company. 
Watches start at just $95 at a department store. You're looking at 400 to 500 bucks. Movement figured out that by selling online, they were able to cut out middlemen and retail markup, providing the best possible price. They offer classic designs, quality construction, and styled minimalism. Get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to mvmtwatches.com slash rooster. That's mvmtwatches.com slash rooster. Movement watches make great gifts, uh, whether you're celebrating a grad or your dad. Father's Day is coming up. Movement is a perfect place to shop. Go to mvmtwatches.com slash rooster. I messed up that last one. It's mvmt.com slash rooster right there. Uh, join the movement. Thanks, it, Movement Watches. Is it true that you shouldn't have a bath when it's stormy? I, I, I've often wondered about that. Like when I'm taking a shower and it's stormy, like could lightning strike and be conducted through the water and then electrocute me in the shower? I heard a story about someone who was taking a shower during a thunderstorm and then lightning uh, hit on like their somewhere on their house that was like connected to the piping or something and they got electrocuted in their shower. The National Weather like Service urges the public to avoid hopping in the shower during a lightning storm in the event that a bolt strikes one of your home's water pipes and electrifies your bathroom. Ta-da! Where's the water pipe though? Are they all underground? Then they come up through your walls to deliver the water. But how did lightning hit it through the wall? I guess if it like struck lightning, like if it hits drywall and come right through or through your window? Through glass? Yeah. It's lightning, man. Who knows? Lightning man. Like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or it could also hit like an exterior water spigot. I always thought pipes though were like ground, like it just goes to the earth. That's why electrical wires go to them too. You never know. I mean, lightning strikes into the ground. Right. I don't know. <laughs> it and also, does, a shower, right? the water's going to be in little droplets anyway. There's not going to be like one long water stream. Yeah, but so maybe really but it could shower. also just be like. <laughs> You know, like just kind of yeah, like, like that's just a scientific straight. explanation. Discharge everywhere. <laughs> just blows know? the wall out. Yeah. yeah, it gets a little crusty. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I can see a, a bath Discharge. being more dangerous because you're actually sat in water. Yeah, or like doing dishes or something. But there's not water running. I guess if you're running the water at that moment in the bath. No, as in like if it just came up the drain. But still, that's coming up pipes. Why not? Well, it's, it has to come out the pipe if it's coming out of the tap anyway. Yeah, I'm saying like you were. You said that it wouldn't do that. But it's already full of water and not running. Yeah, but the bottom of the bath will be metal where the pipe is. Well, I'm gonna... Is the bottom of a bath metal? The ring, right? Yeah. But the, but that but the goes pipes down. are PVC. Uh, right? Pipes are PVC? I think they are, yeah. It seems like... Yes, we're in getting a bath? yes. All right. I don't trust you, though. So yeah, you have, the middle, you have the middle ring on the inside, but then below that, it's PVC. Yeah, so again, who knows? Maybe it's an old thing. Maybe. Like an old house. My old house had uh, metal pipes. Yeah, so do I. I think my old house had copper pipes on the inside, and then the the sewer line that ran out was iron wrapped in concrete. <laughs> okay. Because apparently that's just how they did it back then. Old houses are fun. Old houses are not fun. Old houses fucking suck. I had like aluminium wiring. I did too. Which was <laughs> awful. Which is shit. Yeah. No, yeah. That's I, I, I thought having an old house when I bought my old house, I thought having an old house and then like Working on it and learning about houses would be fun. It was. Mm -mm. It was not. It was I would. I think I would rather do like a full teardown one day. Like buy just a shit house, and just go. Just from do scratch. the uh, house flip. Yeah, people do. I've I always loved those shows. I don't think I'm. I'm the type of person to do that. I. I bought a fan the other day. It was going to replace a fan. Like yeah. a ceiling fan. Yeah, man. And then just, I got halfway through it, and now I just have like nothing. Oh, because you gave up on installing it. Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll go back to it, but for that day, I, I need... I feel like you need two people to install a fan. I, I Maybe. I, I, I tend to... <laughs> that shit's heavy, dude. I like doing stuff myself, but I will always hire someone if I might die doing it. I don't think I'm going to die doing it. Like mowing the lawn? <laughs> I have a room... I, have a, what? <laughs> I have a room I don't have anywhere house. to put a lawnmower. I have a small room in my house I dedicated to VR, where it's like, uh -huh. it's like really empty, and I can go around and do whatever I want in VR there, but... The ceiling was kind of low, and it had a ceiling fan in there. So I thought, okay, I'm just going to remove that ceiling fan. That way, I don't accidentally hit it with my hand, you know. And when I'm not, when I can't see it, so because you're so tall. Yeah, I did a similar thing where I was like, oh, I can just, just have to unscrew it and undo a few wires, right? I was up like it, like a couple of hours yeah. trying to undo it, and I was like, how the fuck is this thing suspended? And it got to the point where I got so frustrated, I just got like my snips and I cut every wire. I was like, <laughs> all right, there we go, problem solved. <laughs> you, you know what I did? I was trying to um. <laughs> Because I replaced Christ. it. I was trying to fix the fan first before I replaced it. And then at a certain point I was like trying to fix it, ended up undoing it, and then it, it like 
It disconnected it, but it's still a fan connected what was by wires. Broken about it, it wouldn't spin or it wouldn't. Oh, lights light up? wouldn't turn on. Even with fresh yeah. bulbs. And then so so then it's. Why don't you just get a new lamp? Well, because it's a fan, you know. It's like got lights on it. As long as it still operates like a fan, though. Yeah, but I don't know. Well, I, you know, I knew if I had gone back in time, maybe. But I've already done it, Barb. There's <laughs> <laughs> already no fan there now. It fell, and I was like left holding it, but it's still connected by wire. But I couldn't put it back up because it was too heavy, and I couldn't like get the wires to shove in it. So then I ended up just like slowly setting it down. And it was dangling by wires. <laughs> For like a couple hours. You <laughs> didn't so, disconnect it? That's where I was. That's yeah. when I snipped. <laughs> that's when I gave up and I just cut everything. Wow. Yeah. I I don't mess around with electrical shit. I built I built like every piece of furniture in my apartment, but that's mm -hmm. it. I've hung my own like curtain rods and everything like that. But to be clear, I I, I set it up so it's not dangerous. Yeah, I, yeah. I, know, I know I know at least what I, I was trust doing. You. Yeah. So it's not like I just cut it and then like tied them all together and left it up there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh it was shitty. Fuck that shit, dude. Yeah, I feel like anytime I do like any home improvement stuff, it's always like, oh, it's gonna be so easy. And then like three hours later, I'm like, why the fuck did I start doing this? That's what's great about living in an apartment is whenever you have any issue, uh, whether it be technical or like some something's broken, uh, they fix it for you. And you yeah. don't have to pay anything. Yeah. I feel like I would want that just for toilets. Do you have a lot of toilet problems? No, but you know how after a couple of years of use, the seat gets like Mm -hmm. A little bit. It has some give side to side. Mm -hmm. Just get those Getting little that on one of my bogs. Can't you just get those little like sticky things? To, oh, like, hold it's, it in the, place? The, I just don't want to touch. The, the nuts toilet. are probably loose. You just have to tighten you don't them. Touch I, yeah, I, don't want, I don't want to touch like the back of the gammy toilet. Get a get a glove, or just wash yeah. it and then touch it. Like get, put some gloves on, wash it. And put then... it in your dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, it's it's just those two uh, yeah. nuts on the back. You just have to tighten those. That's it. I uh, installed my bidet. Ooh. In my new apartment. Was there, like, how what did you do for power for that? So, luckily, the place I'm in has a uh, outlet, like, right next to the toilet. Okay. Yeah. But it's kind in, of rare. In my, it was, yeah, because in my previous <laughs> apartment, the outlet was on the other side of the counter, where, like, I guess you'd plug in hair dryers and things like that. So, I had to get, like, an extension cord and, like, just run it along the floor and back up. <laughs> did not look pretty. Yeah. So, you, you just bought, like, a seat that squirts your anus? I didn't buy it. It was a gift. Oh, okay. Um, but, yeah, it, it squirts your butt. Do you use it all the time? Gym. Not all the time. So sometimes you're like, that was a messy one. I'm definitely going to squirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or sometimes it just feels good because you could also make the water warmer too. And there's also like an air dryer. So you just like sit there and like just like. You're like that gif of Elmo. Yeah. The no, toilet. that's exactly what I look like. Huh. Have you never used one, Gavin? I use one in Japan. Mm. Well, if you want to come over, you can use my bidet. You can get squirt your butthole. Although, I, like, I don't know if that's like. Because I've used it. Nah, that's fine. Does like, it, it doesn't go in your butt. It just. Yeah. Sprays it, water. What about the okay? So here's what I've always wondered about it. The water squirts up, hits your butthole, and yeah. then cleans it with a poop. But then that poop water falls back down onto the thing that's squirting water up. Where right, do you but, where do you think the squirting thing in the toilet is? It's like underneath. It's got to be underneath your butt to squirt up into it. No, it doesn't. Well, it it's it comes out this way, so it's at a diagonal, uh -huh. and it squirts your butt. Oh, this way. Like, oh, so it's like a, a diagonal. Angle? Yes, a diagonal. That's smart. And then phew, goes That's down. Smart. But even still, Chris. Yeah. Even if it was right under your ain, going straight up, the actual hole that that's coming out is going to be so tiny that the chances of a speck of poo <laughs> landing on that and getting stuck there, ready to spray up again, it would never happen. It's yeah, I mean, it's it possible. If it and was here's right the deal. Under your <laughs> here's the deal with it. If it was my. If it was just mine, I was the only one that was using it. But if it's someone else's, and someone else's speck of poo gets shot up my butt, <laughs> that's you gonna. You would never know, though. I would, you never, would never. And that's know. yeah, and that's why I'm like. And you live your life super happy. Honestly, you probably get the same amount of poo from other people in your butt just from using the toilet because of all the fecal air. You no, know, that's why you always flush it before you go to sit down. You do. Do what? you that? That's if such it, a fucking waste. If it's waste. dirty. Well, uh, yeah, you uh, flush the toilet if there's shit in it and you have to use it. Yeah, yeah you flush it. Yeah. But. So when you go to a public bathroom, uh -huh. let's say you're at the airport, Chris, uh -huh. you got to take a dump, you walk into the stall, before you sit down and take a poop, you flush it? If there's anything in the toilet. Anything at all. If there's like <laughs> toilet paper or something, it's, it looks like someone's used it, then yeah, I'm going to flush it. What if, what if it's just, just What if it's perfectly clear water with one square toilet paper in it? I'm probably going to flush it because I'm nervous. I would nervous. not flush that. 
Why would you get nervous about what? What if someone, like, I don't know. What if there's something, what if there's like a secret poo that's underneath it? I don't know. It's one square. You're you're just putting more stuff in it that's just going to go, like. But what if it, like, you, it poops and it it splashes and, I don't know. Does that happen, like, normally? Like a splash? Yeah. I mean, it can happen. Does it? A, a poo splash? Does it splash on your balls or what does it splash on? It can, well, I mean anything. Who knows? <laughs> I don't have balls. Splash. I'm legit asking. Like, well, what? no, you can get a splash. Go right back up to your cornhole. Yeah. <laughs> it's happened. Yeah. It's not pleasant. <laughs> no, I, I, that's why I always flush. I just flush water. Yeah. How many times do you flush on a typical poop? Um, usually just once. I usually do twice. After I. After I poop, I flush it as a courtesy flush, and then I wipe. And then again? Yeah. Because usually I'm in a situation where I don't want to, like, spend time with the shit stinking up the room or anything like that. That's the next person's problem. Also, like, it it helps, like, if you flush it first and then, because, like, when you wipe, it creates more stuff in the toilet. So it's, like, more likely to clog it if you do that. Okay. I got you. Man, I, this is uh, a very quiet conversation. How big feel... do you think the poops are from that seven foot eight woman? <laughs> 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 I mean, for a vagina, 16, 18 it's inches. 19. Who did that picture that you showed us? What? Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that picture. People were mad at me for sending that for picture. What? Oh, of your shit? Of the shit? It that was you not saw? my shit. The shit that you Who saw. Who was mad? Some people in that broadcast Slack channel. Uh. Oh. I guess like. People... Oh, you put it in like a group Slack channel. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! What was but it? these people expected it, but I guess there's people in that channel who aren't here. Who don't work on the podcast, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> well, they like, shouldn't the be fuck? in the channel, then. right? I was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't realize that there were other people who work here who need to keep tabs on on that channel. Slack should have that like reveal feature where yeah. you can send something blurred and then. You... Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> everyone would have clicked it anyway. <laughs> Yeah, because well, I feel like I warned everyone here before I sent it, and then I sent it. Of course, yeah, people but not everyone. Here. Oh, can you send it to me? You right. don't want. I want to see it at this point. It's pretty. It's pretty bad, man. I um, I, I know. I, I don't know why I talk about this so much, but I got my hair cut earlier today. And I feel like for the first time in a long time, they listened to me and didn't put shit in my hair. Did you go to a new place? No, same place. But normally, I tell them don't put anything in my hair, and at the end, they like they're like, "What's that?" They're like, "Oh, it's just some leave-in conditioner." Like, what the <laughs> fuck did I just say? Well, they probably <laughs> think you mean like gel. I say, don't. Yeah. What, what can I say then to make it more clear? Like I say, don't put anything. Just in say my I don't hair. want any product. No product whatsoever in my hair. How is that different? Did they trim your eyebrows this time? They did not. I'm very happy. That's good. Yeah. Because product <laughs> is just anything. Whereas when you say don't put any stuff in my hair, people think you mean like gel or hairspray or something to keep it a certain way. You should just say you're allergic to a lot of products, so don't put anything in your hair. Okay. Just say I'm like a filthy fucking animal. Don't wash my hair. Don't put any product in my hair. Just cut it and let me get the fuck out of here. But there's stuff in your hair now. Yeah, because I'm used to that though. They put a little bit of stuff to make it stay there. Because so, otherwise it gets like loose and it gets in my face. You get a little puff. Yeah. I don't mind, but I guess that, uh, um, I guess that, uh, Anna? for the camera, it's got to look good. It's got to look like, good for the camera. Yeah. I don't care. I'm fine with whatever. We had that, uh, I felt kind of awkward the other day. We had that big company wide meeting. And like at the very start of the meeting, they showed <laughs> that short. That we made for like uh -huh. a sale for the Memorial Day sale, uh, yeah. and it was of you weird. Being a bad boy, yeah, but it was weird that like I didn't know they were going to show that. At the I didn't know either. Meeting. And like you and I just happened to be sitting next to each other in the, <laughs> <laughs> in the audience, like what is that? What is that? And then I hadn't I hadn't actually watched the final version until then, and I was laughing out loud <laughs> at stuff I was doing on the screen, and I felt like the biggest asshole for laughing at myself uh, in my own performance. That's a good short. <laughs> it was pretty good. Yeah, like if if you if you're gonna make like a a commercial for our own store. That's the way to do it. Just yeah. make it entertaining. Wasn't there was another short? I think it was the dogs short where you were like a photographer. And yeah. Like, it, was that that lighting joke? A yeah. Call back to that. Yeah. It was. Okay. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I felt like uh, there were some performance things that they cut out in the this most recent one. Uh huh. Like when I was a bad boy mopping up, I kept like turning around and showing my ass to camera. <laughs> they <laughs> like, cut that out. Yeah, that didn't make it into the final version. Oh. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't in there. Who yeah. edits those? Um, we have a whole post. Yeah, it depends post on who's available and who's on what projects. I'm not, I'm not really sure who edited that particular one. I feel like that shoot went really fast. Yeah, well, because we did two camera. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like when you do two camera, we're you know, it's going back and forth. Yeah, I yeah. do appreciate the fact that Blaine plays a cop every time we need a cop. 
Yeah. It's always with him that mustache. <laughs> yeah, it was a, it was good. Like I, I felt like in the past, you know, when we were down at six three six, they used to always bitch about it. So anytime we would have to film something like that, it'd be like two days of shooting. But this one was this one was really really fast. Yeah. Well, it's yeah, it's it's also it's easier whenever we're not doing everything. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like oh yeah, hold up, let me set the camera while I also act in it. Yeah. While we run lines at the <laughs> same time. Well, there it's were like some shorts in uh, Congress that went pretty fast. Were like, there? Well, yeah, like Secret Door was shot in like an afternoon. Well, it went into the night. But That's my favorite. One, it was one shot like the whole time. Oh, one straight shot but, to completion. Not yeah, one camera shot. But we uh but we went late into that night. I remember I was getting so pissed off cuz I just wanted to go home. Yeah. The Speaking of getting pissed off and wanting to go home, that drunk RBB read that you guys did is coming oh, out soon. Yeah, they was that was teased in Bernie's vlog. I think day, it's right? I think it's been decided that's coming out on June twelfth. Oh, that's next Monday. That's yeah. It's great that we actually, we have two drunk things both coming out within like a, a week. Yeah, maybe we have a problem. Did your drunk <laughs> interview come out? <laughs> came yeah. out today. I still haven't watched it. It just came out Good like video. right before we yeah. started this, right? Yeah, it's so it's, fucking funny. So tell what's the premise of it for people who don't know? Oh, it's it's so it's it's an <clears> interview <throat> where. Uh, one of us, like in this one, I interview my drunk self. Right. So it's me sober talking to drunk me, and they're cut where it looks like we're having a conversation. Mm -hmm. I'm and glad we finally did it because Bernie's been talking about doing that for like three or four years. Yeah. Yeah. It There's was a, few, a, a few others that happened that night. I think they're going to yeah. get released. We filmed separately. three. They're we good. We filmed three. They're real good. It's funny to see how like everyone's a different type of drunk. Uh huh. Like, I feel like you're a very evil drunk. What? No, I'm a super nice drunk. Apparently you were like kicking computers I over. kicked one computer, all right? <laughs> and I did it like... Was it an important one? No. I think it was been. one of the animator's computer. I don't remember. <laughs> no, it all right, couldn't But I was like saying it, I did it in a really friendly manner. <laughs> Yeah. Like I, I, you, I kicked, you kicked it over in a friendly <laughs> manner? <laughs> I didn't kick it over, I kicked it. It was just a, like a foot push. It was like a this. I, I doubt it was that soft. I and I'm very I'm very huggy. I'm very friendly. I'm like a fun drunk. I'm yeah. like not one of the people who like cries and fights. You know. I mean, y'all have all you seen me drunk, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. You're pretty jolly. Yeah. See. Yeah. What kind of drunk? Yeah, are you? I'll, I'll agree. You're looking at me for validation. Yes. <laughs> you're very jolly. You're very fun, Chris. What kind of one am I? Yeah. Oh, just kind of goofy. I think, I think you're, you're you're just like you, but like sillier. More. <laughs> you said that was such a filth look. You're like, <laughs> no, but like, like in a way where it's just because, like, you already, I, I think you have a lot of meanness <laughs> stored inside you, and I think like every now and then it comes out. But I think when you're drunk, like just, punching like, your phone, like punching my phone or me or like you know <laughs> calling me a cunt, like just more easily <laughs> with that much regret. Filter falls off. Yeah, I mean it's not actual meanness though. Yeah, I know. I'm actually like. Just play. Tripping you in the street and like <laughs> yeah. throwing water on you and stuff, well, chucking a drink in your face. Yeah, or punching me in the face like that one time. Yeah, Barbara's filming me. I think I've punched your phone several times. Just <laughs> you did it right before this podcast. <laughs> yeah, it was on the thing, and I was trying to punch you off, but it's only going to land on carpet. But yeah. one time I punched it while you were filming me. And I punched way too hard, and I like followed well, through. I, was, and I punched your phone into you. I was filming you like this. <laughs> yeah, and I was just going like this. I was like, and then you went like this, and it went like into my face, <laughs> like, and like oh my hit God. my nose. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Not pleasant. I felt bad about it. I feel like I feel like I don't see you drunk very often, Barb. I don't get drunk very often. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. Mm. I was trying to think like, what is Barb like drunk? And I'm, I mean, maybe we'll find out one day. Maybe. Maybe I'll do this series. At some point in my life, <laughs> you'll interview yeah. yourself. Yeah, although I'm, I'd be scared because it's like I, I don't get drunk very often, especially during like our shows. Like mm -hmm. maybe during Always Open, I get a little tipsy, but like, I don't know if I'd want to necessarily show that side of me mm -hmm. on a production. But we'll, we'll see. Yeah, initially, uh, they had asked me to uh, to do it initially i said yes and then like when it came time to schedule it i backed out i was like no <laughs> no i'm still recovering from the cheese master i mean yeah <laughs> the oh man i like to think of the cheese master as your alter ego god i love no, the I cheese master i was gonna cheese master i was like gonna like go take a nap or something and then cheese master came out i'm like i'm gonna watch this <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna leave until the cheese master goes my favorite part was watching that back is every time it cut to me and the people i was sitting with we would just be like <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> you should whip him out every five years. No, no. Never again? God, no, that was it. 
I felt so bad for so long. Well, at least after Uber's that. back. So yeah. you know. Was was the day after one of the worst days of your life? It was it was bad. And it was bad because when I woke up, <laughs> I didn't feel that bad. And you know, uh Bernie I came because my car was still here, and I came. I, I, I took an Uber over here. I got in my car, you know, and Bernie and Ashley ran into me. And we talked for a bit, and I took my car back, and I was fine. But then, like as the day wore on, I just felt worse and worse. And <laughs> so weird. Maybe you were still a little like drunk. I don't when think you so. I felt up? fine. I felt like totally sober, but like that's why I would like I started, <laughs> I started throwing up in the afternoon, oh. and then didn't finish until like 7 p.m. that day. <laughs> it was it was rough <laughs> for the kids. Yeah, absolutely. Always. Uh, here, let me read something else here. You trying to get all the ads out before the power goes out? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, the storm's gone. We're good right. now. Sweet. Uh, this episode of the Received Podcast is also brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make your next move with Squarespace. Squarespace offers beautiful, award-winning designer templates. You can create a beautiful website or online store with an award-winning template. It's an all-in-one platform. There's nothing to install, patch, or upgrade ever. Squarespace is flexible for any kind of website. It's used by a wide range of creatives, people, musicians, designers, artists, restaurants, and more. They make it simple to manage your online store and inventory, process orders, print packing slips, customize emails. Squarespace also has powerful marketing tools. They ensure the search engines can find your store online, provide real-time analytics to help you gain insights and let you connect with your customers on Facebook, Twitter, and more. Start your free trial today at squarespace.com slash roosterteeth. Enter offer code roosterteeth to get 10% off your first purchase. Uh, if you wanted to build Chris's sweaty socks.com. You can do it right there. That's gonna exist in about five minutes. Uh, you can do it with a Squarespace domain, and you can Ooh. you can manage all of your customers, Chris, and connect with them via Facebook and Twitter. Every sock I wear. Mm -hmm. You can encourage them to send photos of uh, themselves jacking off into your socks. Mm. Oh. Mm. Uh, so I, I just got. I'm gonna do Barbara's crusty cunts. <laughs> 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 I just got a, a message from Zach. Uh, the uh, the poster has sold out. Uh, oh, wow. Well, I guess if you didn't get it, come to RTX. <laughs> so yeah. I could get it there. Only if you're the first 100 people. Yeah. Again, very limited. So during your ad read, Chris uh, oh. looked at I looked up your text. <laughs> oh, you looked at it. <laughs> you asked to see it. I know. It was really bad. That's the shit. That it was that, really bad. That was a public restroom in Sydney. Let me recreate what just happened. I've seen while you were on okay. doing your ad read. This is Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen worse. <laughs> um, you've I seen want, worse than that. I've seen worse. I went. The best is before you tell your story. If you zoom in on that photo, it's I, cracked. The seat is <laughs> cracked right where all of that happened. <laughs> Anyway, go ahead. I was at a bar and uh, a bunch of friends out drinking and I go into this toilet and it's like, it, it, it looks like, it's just like someone vomited shit all over the toilet. <laughs> all over, it's just like, <laughs> I'm like, well, I walk away from that. And then we're drinking later and I'm talking to my uh, my friend and he's like, man, I destroyed one of the oh, toilets no! in there. <laughs> And I was like, what? He's like, yeah, man, I was, because he was drunk. He's like, the toilet seat was really gross, and I, I just had to go. It was coming out, so I didn't want to wipe it off, so I just kind of, like, squatted and, like, let it loose. <laughs> and so he, like, he, like, shotgun blasted the toilet. Oh, my God. He didn't even sit on it. Are he you? just, like, bent over <laughs> and just. <laughs> are, you, are you still friends with this guy? Yeah, I'll tell you who it is, but I'm going to whisper it. And that guy's name is oh, Marshall Rimmer. Uh, <laughs> I don't they, know. They, I, just, they, I made that up. Yeah, yeah. It was not okay. Marshall. Okay. I don't know why. I didn't have to whisper that because well, no one knows who that person yeah, yeah. is except me and yeah. you. I don't know. I Still, that's it, a pretty... It was pretty bad. I felt like it was a wake-up call. Like when I was younger and uh, when I first turned... Well, I guess when I first moved to Austin, I like started going out to bars downtown and... Uh, I came from a small town, so I'd never, I never—I didn't know what big city shits look like. <laughs> can that please? I know we can't do it, but can please be the title of this podcast? Oh my god! It was like eye-opening to see how people destroy bathrooms in downtown Austin. <laughs> like I remember, like one of the worst. Like I hated any time I had to go to the bathroom at Emos when they were down there, like at. On uh -huh. Red River between sixth and seventh, it was like, oh god, I really gotta piss. Like even just pissing, it was like, <laughs> oh no, okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to go do it. Like it was always, it always stank so bad. Everything was just so filthy. Yeah, other people's poo is awful. 
Well, do you think that's, like, do you think that's, you know the song, you down with OPP? Yeah, you know me. Do you think that stands for other people's poo? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it stands for. But yeah, there's, there's someone somewhere who's done the worst poo ever. Well, that's like but. that story of that British Airways flight that had to turn around. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> this poo was so smelly, right? Yeah. yeah. But Maybe I'm sure that was the same guy. I'm <laughs> sure to them, though, it's not as bad as other people's poo. I don't they know. Gotta know. You, you know when yours is worse than normal, right? Like, sometimes you're like, whoa, that was, that was rank. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, and so is there anything... God, we're like really... We're, we're in the weeds here with this fucking toilet talk. Is there anything worse... Than asparagus pee, I like, don't. Why? Um, I don't think my pee is affected by asparagus. Some Everyone... people, some people don't smell it. Okay, maybe I don't smell it. Yeah, then it's like it's mm-hmm. st- such a fucking foul smell, and I feel like it happens so quickly after you eat asparagus. Yeah, like, I don't know how that what? happens that it goes through your body that quickly. What kind of is it like pungent? Like what? What kind of bad smell is it? We should do a test, like some sort of. God. I don't know. Like a, like uh, a smell yeah. test? It's it's like a pungent sour smell. Um yeah. it's just gross. Yeah, and it's and it's so specific. Like yeah. I had a quiche recently, took a piss afterwards, I smelled it. I was like, oh I guess there was asparagus in it. Yeah. Didn't notice, but you know, the info's in the piss smell. Yeah. There's also One time, egg farts, which are always really smelly. I don't really get that. One time I went to uh, I was at day long meetings somewhere. <laughs> And uh, since the meetings were day long, a catered lunch was provided. Uh. What was provided, and one of the sides with the catered <laughs> lunch was asparagus. I was like, okay, fine, whatever. I'll eat this asparagus. It's good. It's so I ate, yeah, it was it was fine. I ate all my food. Then before we were gonna start our afternoon meetings, I was like, all right, I should go take a piss because you know I don't want to have to get up and interrupt these meetings for this afternoon. So I walked into the men's room, opened the door, walked up to a urinal. The previous person had not flushed, and it already reeked <laughs> of asparagus. Like it was just filled with asparagus. Stench. Wait. I was like, this is fucking disgusting. So, okay. Ooh. This is going to be a real dumb question, and I'm probably going to get a lot of shit for this. You have to flush a urinal? Yes. Well, it, not all of them. Not all of them flush themselves. But I, I just assumed it was like an open drain. drain that you just peed no, into. No, normally there's a, in the older style ones, like there's a little bit of water there, and it's got like a handle, like a, like on a toilet. And you flush okay, it. okay. Okay, I think I've seen that. Never and I think they do that so that, like, the, if it was just an open hole, then all the smell would come back up. And there'd still be, like, the residue around the right. ring. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so the water keeps all that smell away. I also want you guys to know, every time I pee in the shower, I think about you. Well, thanks. That's a, that's <laughs> not, a weird, that's a weird not thing to think about. Do you pee in the shower? No, I don't. Well, now I'll start thinking about you. Do you squat, or does it just go down your legs? It just goes down. Do you have to, like, wash your legs extra careful after? No, because uh, what uh, your pee doesn't like stick to you. No, but there's there's an area under your legs where if you don't, so say I've like done sh- shower. I gel. always pee at the beginning of my shower. Why not okay. just go to the bathroom before you go? Because I'm in the shower. No, but you you know you have to. It's not like you were by s- the toilet. Yeah, you were like as close to the toilet as possible. Here's you know, what it's my... being even closer to the toilet, being in a shower that's already going. All right, all right. here's what my <laughs> toilet smells like. Right. It smells like the toilet. Which but my shower smells like shower gel and shampoo. Clean. And I don't want to smell like mine. I don't want the drain to have piss in it and eking a pissy smell up. Do you know how it's much not water shit, sat there? Do you know how much how much shit gets washed off your body and how gross deep down in your shower drain is? I have a, I have a story. Before we get to Chris's story. <laughs> is Pat- it a person pooping in the shower? Patrick is telling me that um asparagus has the same acid that's found in skunk spray. Oh, ew. So if they're to put it in your... God, I'm so glad I can't smell it then. Also, uh, Patrick also mentions it's a good time to let everyone know that Sally LePage is going to be visiting June 26th. So we can ask her maybe some of these questions. Write write that that down. I want to know if Sally LePage pees in the shower. Ask Sally (laughs) if she pees. We brought you down here for a specific reason. Scientific discussion. Okay, what were you going to say? What's your story? Well, it's not my story. I'm telling... You're the one telling it. So, so, and it's someone that... (laughs) You all know. Ooh. You gotta uh, whisper that name. I maybe I will after. Or tell us after, yeah. Yeah. Um they this was in an early time in their life when they'd uh recently gone away from home, had their own place or a college apartment type thing. <coughs> and uh they had a girl like staying with them for the first time and they had to uh go to the bathroom, take a number two while the girl was staying. It's like a you know, one bedroom type thing. Mm-hmm. And they went to the, uh, sh- they were like, oh, I'm going to go take a shower. And in the shower, you know, it's like, well, they're going to take a dump while they're in the shower. For whatever reason, 
and I do not know why. This person decided it would be <laughs> better. Optimal time. <laughs> to take the dump in the shower. <laughs> they, what? I don't know why. They like, took what? Like, wait, like not poop into the shower drain, but poop and then like put it in the toilet? Or? They, <laughs> <laughs> they took a dump in the shower. Were they drunk? No, I don't think so. Took a dump in the shower. And then shoved it down the drain. They decide rather than like transfer it to the toilet. I don't know. I think, Wait, what was this trying to achieve? I don't know. I think it's like avoiding the taking the dump in the toilet, like having the sound. I don't know. I don't. This is not me. To this, avoid hearing the plops. Plops, or maybe or it's flush. like they thought they thought it would be like f like a quicker experience, or or like less oh conspicuous if it was in the shower. So there have been times where I turned on the shower while well, I was. Pooping, so it wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The sound wouldn't no, be as. So this is, the, and then so then they're shoving, they're trying to shove their. I don't their like poop this down motion. The, down the drain, but the hot shower is just like breaking it apart, <laughs> 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 and then creating like a sauna. <laughs> 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 so they're shoving it in. It's this like shut like shit storming <laughs> up. <laughs> wow. And then and then they have this scenario where it's like they can't get it all down the drain, so they're just like trying to clean it. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally they get it all down. But then the bathroom smells like a war zone. <laughs> so then they, they can't leave the bathroom because they know it smells so bad. <laughs> And then what? so they had to wait in the bathroom for like an hour <laughs> until the smell, the smell go was gone. See, I know someone, this is not nearly as gross, but it's still also Lunacy. gross. I know someone who uh, had to take a shit when they were in the shower, so they pooped <laughs> into their own hand. And then, and then, Just get out and, and poo! And what then, are you talking about opened, in your hand? They opened, what? They opened, in your hand? Yeah, they opened the shower curtain, put it into the toilet, <laughs> and then flushed it. <laughs> and, the old just, uh the old handoff. Yeah. <laughs> the thing the thing I said about that scenario. <laughs> but that would have made more at least that made more sense than Yes. The thing about that scenario though is that never <laughs> in my life do I want to feel the weight of my own shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, so you don't you don't you don't want would you want to I never want to hold my own shit. So uh years ago we talked about the idea behind shit stats. Would you ever be curious <laughs> about that? Yeah. Where it's like yeah. you have like a toilet seat that, that weighs, weighs you, you before and weighs you after. So I you think know. there has been stuff that's yeah, they come exist out that now. I think yeah, now now it exists. Like yeah. People I, tell me about it all the time. I, but I would never want to feel it hmm. in my own You don't want to like yeah, it's too hands on, too literally visceral. Yeah. And I don't want to feel like the warmth of it. <laughs> a lot of what if it was cold? Then I'd probably have to go to the doctor, I think. No, yeah, but what if you let it cool <laughs> off first? To like harden a little bit? No, nah, it's still warm and uh, no, it's still squishy and wet, <laughs> but it's just cool to the touch. <laughs> there, there was a, a today I fucked up on Reddit a couple days ago. Uh -huh. I don't know if you guys saw it, where the guy said um, he fucked up because he thought he was shitting blood. But he realized that he had just eaten a beet salad for the first time in his <laughs> life, <laughs> and he was just like dying everything red. So he had he'd even gone to the doctor and scheduled a colonoscopy. <laughs> oh my Thinking there was God. something really wrong with him. No harm in finding out, though. Yeah. yeah, I don't understand. Like I've talked to people before <clears throat> who, like, they're sick or there's something wrong with them, and they say like, "Oh, I don't want to go to the doctor. Like, I don't want to know what's wrong with me, or like, I don't want to no, get I any bad news." I like, totally get that. You do? Like, I, I don't yeah. understand no, you that go mentality. To the doctor. People the like second anything is wrong with me, I go to the doctor. Because yeah. then, if if it's something that's like seriously wrong, it could be prevented, or or it could be too late, and you'd just spend more time knowing. Well, that happened to Greg Miller. Like he ha was having like issues, and like at one point he, I I don't know actually know the whole story, but like passed out, went to the doctor, and they saw that his lymph nodes were really swollen. Turns out he had uh, lymphoma, and uh, luckily he beat it. He beat cancer, but like if you yeah. don't catch that early on, you're fucked. <clears throat> Definitely better to catch that earlier as opposed to later. Yeah, I get it. As I feel like when I was younger, maybe I had that same attitude. But as I've gotten older, the second anything's wrong, it's not. I mean, it's more like I don't want to be inconvenienced by this anymore. Sure. Like I want to go to the doctor, figure out what it is, and just be done with it. But it's also extra annoying here because it costs money. Not that much. Go. We have healthcare. Well, health just, insurance. You still have to pay shit though. It's like usually 
if you go get an inspection, it's like twenty five bucks. Go pay. It's not bad. If you have insurance, it's not that bad. Oh, but that's I a big if. Doctor for something, and then she was like, "Your ear is blocked. Let me clean it." And it cost me like ninety dollars because she like squirted water in my ear. I was like, I, "If I'd have known, I would have bloody done that myself." You remember when that happened to me? Remember that photo? <laughs> oh God! I think that oh. was also the bow tie podcast. That was worse. That was it. Yeah. I that almost threw up. I did like a burp and I brought up liquid and it went down. They they did the same thing where the doctor tried to put liquid in my ear and it wouldn't come out. Yeah, that happened to me too. I had to go to ENT for that. And they had to use like this special like microscope thing because I think it was so lodged into my do you have a, ear canal. Do you have a, I have a recurring dream where I get stuff in my ear and I'm just like pulling things out of my ear. Never had that. It's I have really teeth falling out of there. Yeah. Do you have me, a lot of earwax? I don't think so. I mean, I think it's just like a weird reoccurring dream where I'm like something is in my ear and I'm like pulling it. And it's just like, do you get the satisfaction of it popping out there? Maybe, but it's like not never. It's, it's always more gross than satisfying. Yeah. <laughs> I've never had that. Yeah. Never but I feel like there are like common recurring dreams and nightmares that people have. Like the ones that I hate are always like teeth things. I've never had a teeth dream. Really? Like I feel like every now and then I'll have a dream where like I crack a tooth and then like I spit out a little piece and then all my teeth start cracking and then my mouth is just filled with like teeth shards. Isn't there something like they like someone did studies about dreams and how like when you lose your teeth or there's something involving your teeth it's it's like it means you've been thinking about something in your life or like it relates to something. Mm. You feel like you've lost control. You feel, feel like, like you've, you've lost, lost control. control. I have that dream every night. <laughs> no, I don't. But yeah, those those are the worst to me. There's also like dreams about like drowning or falling that also like relate to other mm. things in your life. Well, well, for me, so I have this thing where I have apnea. So when I'm asleep, a lot of times uh, I stop breathing. So the way that manifests itself is I'll be dreaming, my dream will be going normal, and then all of a sudden in my dream, I can't breathe. Just and, like in real life. And and uh, it's like I'm struggling and it's it's like a, a real thing where it's like you think it's real life and you're just like, I can't breathe, I'm choking, and there's nothing I can do about it. And then I wake up and I realize like I haven't taken a breath in a long time. It's like Yee. I'll take a, a huge breath and that's fucking awful. I hate that. It's a really bad thing for our bodies to start doing. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm just not going to breathe while you're sleeping. Like, why Why would we evolve to do that? Well, I think that's a, it's a mistake. I don't think yeah. we're supposed to, to do that. Bre breathing is necessary for life, Chris. Do you, do you guys still have your tonsils? No, nah, mine got taken out a long time ago. Yeah, I have mine. I got mine. You still have yours? Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I have really big tonsils, and I talked about it on Always Open last week, but Someone asked me, they're like, don't you have any trouble breathing? And it's like, I don't know if I do because I've always had my tonsils. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just get them out? See what's see what it's like. Because it, it's you don't have to. It's a big surgery. It's, it's yeah, like... it's a like you have to go under and everything. It's intense. I got really big tonsils though. <laughs> uh, do you yeah. think there's any tonsil fetishes? <laughs> I'm a positive that where there someone's are. like, oh man, look at her. Tonsils. <laughs> how how those must be implants. <laughs> would, you, would you take a million dollars to eat Barbara's tonsils? A million dollars? Yeah. <laughs> would you be able to cook them? Put, put, put it yeah, in your can fish I cook and them? <laughs> dressing. <laughs> yeah, can I cook them? No, well, you just need some salad dressing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would tell a million dollars for eat her tonsils. Yeah, Both you would do them? that. I'm not eating her. It's not. Well, I guess it's kind of cannibalism. Um, it is because it grew <laughs> on a human. But it's like a, eating a placenta. People eat those. Yeah, but you make new ones every time you get a baby. Yeah. Well, you know, you don't eat them. Which part of a human body would you eat for a million dollars? None. What about ten million dollars? I mean, can I say like a, a little toe or something? <laughs> sure. Something small. Sure. Just like nibble around the edge. <laughs> it's like a ti the tiniest little chicken wing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like deep fried. It just tastes like a little some buffalo sauce oh, on it. Oh wait, wait. Little toe, I could just swallow it like a pill. Yeah, you could. Just maybe like. But you can't swallow pills. I I had to. I had to start swallowing pills. Okay, I'm proud of you. Big step up. I would eat your tonsils, yeah, or That's your true. toe. <laughs> but okay, so how much would you do that for though? Like what? Because a million <laughs> is a shitload of money. Did you do it for like ten grand? Eat her tonsils? Yeah. No, I don't know about that. Ten thousand? No. I would not. No. I think it, I think you'd have to hit at least a hundred. What do I get out of this? Well, you're, well, you, you no longer have big tonsils. old. You can breathe better. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe take me out for a nice dinner. Sure. Yeah. Just sure. don't order meatballs or anything <laughs> resembling <laughs> tonsils. <laughs> what is a tonsil when it's out? Is it just like a ball of flesh? I think it's just a. It's round, right? Yeah, I think so. Roundish. I don't know. Yeah. 
They look round in my throat. Yeah. There was a, so you're talking to, one of you I think was talking about like tonsil fetishes or weird fetishes. Mm -hmm. I remember I read, I, I love really weird AMAs on Reddit. And one time there was this AMA from this, uh, this woman who was a, uh, she worked at a brothel in Australia. And <clears throat> someone was asking her, like, what's the weirdest fetish you'd ever encountered? And she said that every now and then there was a guy who would show up and he never wanted to have sex. He wanted her to pretend she was a dentist who was examining the teeth on his feet. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, he didn't have teeth on his feet. <laughs> he just wanted her to pretend like she was doing a dental exam <laughs> on his teeth on his feet. <laughs> but it was a bunch of shit wouldn't make sense. She'd be like, <laughs> say ah. Uh. <laughs> right, so she was like, she would just like poke, she says like, she would just poke at his foot and be like, oh, you haven't been brushing. <laughs> Do you think she advanced it by buying like dental tools and like the little yeah, mirror got some on floss stick? I'm, like... I'm sure, yeah. I, I think, like, think she said that she had to dress up like a nurse or something, like in her sexy nurse outfit was and he do that. like hard during this? She said that he, uh, she didn't elaborate on too much of that, but she said that he didn't masturbate or anything. He just laid there and let her do examine you, his feet. Do you think... As like a, a a call girl or a prostitute, that you'd be more like be like, oh, I don't have to have sex with this person. I just have to like clean their or floss their feet. Floss, <laughs> or you know, like is like, that like happy yeah, yeah, is that like a good client or is that one of those I don't? I'd rather just have sex with this person. I think it would be good because it would like change things up, mixing, keep yeah. it interesting. You know, give give your v vaginal area a break Rest. for a little yeah. bit. Yeah, get changed up because it probably gets pretty monotonous. I assume. Yeah. To have to be into everyone and like, yeah, it's a lot of work. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, on one hand, yeah, I can see that, right? Like, it's like, oh, you're you're breaking the monotony. It's something different. On the other hand, you're like, man, I got to entertain this guy for an hour. We're not going to just bang <laughs> for a couple of minutes and be done. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, we're going to have to really spend all of this time in character doing this. Goggle this Listerine. <laughs> <laughs> You've got athlete's foot in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I think so your weird. tooth has a toenail. <laughs> <laughs> I would totally watch a video where someone was doing that. That'd be a funny video to make. <laughs> People are into a lot of weird shit, which is why I'm sure there's someone who's into tonsils. Yeah, there was that there. thing. Um, I, I I felt like I retweeted a few Pornhub links recently, but one of them was talking <laughs> about how searches for fidget spinners on Pornhub are like astronomically high. Yeah. Like everyone's in, like everyone's so interested in fidget spinners now. People are looking for fidget spinner porn. So it was like when I read that, like the, the second I read it, I read like right when they released, it, I was like, I'm going to Pornhub. I'm looking for fidget spinner so right now. What does that mean? That like fidget spinner porn? Like are they inserting it? There was no fidget spinner porn when I looked. Okay. It was just like, it was like the try not to come challenge, and it was just someone using a fidget spinner. Like nothing sexual about it. Just like the using only the fidget thing spinner. I tried because I tried to think about this when I saw that thing about Pornhub. Mm -hmm. The only thing I could possibly think about that a fidget spinner could be useful in with porn is that if you like had your like a woman had her legs open and used the fidget spinner to like flick her clit and it was just like I, against her clit. I, maybe. There, there, there is now fidget spinner porn and that is exactly what you were. Oh, is that what it's doing? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I thought there's another thing you could do with it. Swipe right on Tinder. <laughs> no, because um, I saw this. Spinner I saw makes this. Don Willow horny. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I saw this video where someone put a fidget spinner in a, it was like a food Facebook video and they were making food and they put a fidget spinner in a bowl and then sport, squirted like hot, uh, chocolate sauce on it and like squirted all over the place. Oh, interesting. And to like, you know, make it a pretty like chocolate spin, like, I don't know how you make I plates pretty. You could do something, first. also squirt something on a fidget spinner and make it squirt everywhere and make a mess. You could do that. Slimmer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you, go. you should do. Oh, a you should totally do a fidget, fidget spinner. spinner. Yeah, I've I've had thousands of tweets, but I I kind of don't want to. Yeah. I was driving down Lamar the other day, and there was like a pop up tent on the side of Lamar that just said "fidget spinner is five dollars." Like, how high the fuck? <laughs> like, I don't I I don't dislike it or anything. He was like, "How the fuck is it that popular that there's like somebody went out, they got a tent, they printed a sign, and they got a bunch of inventory, and they're on the side of the street. Like, they didn't have a shop. Like, they set all of this stuff up." For five dollars. How did they come her. back? Come back? Like, what was their previous incarnation? Well, I assume they were made as, you know, as toys ages ago, weren't they? Or are they just like brand new toy? Mm -hmm. I can't remember. But I mean, the fidget spinner isn't like a trademarked thing. It's just anyone mm. can make them, right? So I nobody. Think so I feel like nobody got super rich on fidget spinners, even though one person brought it. Like they didn't trademark it or they yeah. patent it, and it's not 
their thing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but I don't think I, I can't remember it being like a rehash or something different. Mm. Or like yeah, a, a, a when I was a kid I used to play with my mom's salad spinner. Just to put shit in it. What is that? That's like one of those things that it's like a and you pull it and it yeah, mine was like a wine. You wash like salad and you put it in the salad spinner and you spin it and it gets all the water off it. Yeah. It's like a it's strainer spin. that it, spins. So you put your lettuce in there and since it spins, all the water shoots Why off the side. Why do you need side. water off your salad? Well, so it's not know. wet when you try to make your salad. Yeah, so I would like the the, the, the winder was on the, the lid. So you put it on, wind it up. And if you just pull the lid off, it would be spinning still. So I'd yeah. like throw Batman in there. I used, to, I used to do that all the time. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's oh. like a modern day one. Well, that's like an electric one. Wow. I could have had so much fun with that. As a kid, wow! <laughs> what it's just it's just wiping off the it's well it's lettuce? just throwing it around. Yeah, so see, it dries it's like off. in that net, and all the water ends up in the yeah. oh thing. You just see, yeah, like look at all yeah. that water got he got off, and that's some that's uh, a dry see, some dry. Just, I've, nev I've never been like I want my salad drier. I've never. Well, do you not wash? Do you wash salad? your lettuce? I guess I do. I don't really I eat a lot I of do. lettuce. I don't think a lot. Seriously, about... I'm telling you, salad spinners are gonna be back in now. They'll take over the what if it's like spinner? a fidget spinner and there's three salad <laughs> spinners that are spinning as they're all spinning together. They're all spinning and the whole thing's going. Love it. We're gonna get really dizzy in a couple of years. Yeah. All this fucking spinning. All right, let's wrap this up. So, thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you guys next week. If you're watching live right now on Monday, stay tuned for Couch Hop TV. Bye. Love you. <laughs>